So <laughs> talk to me about your, your career in the game. You started off as a DJ out when I've been going to Durban for a long time. Yeah. I know you as a DJ who's been rocking the decks. Mm. So your evolution. Uh, is this the first track you've made? Third. This is the third track you've made. First one, Keep Going, features Zawe, Maraza and Nasty C. Wow, you're definitely a Maraza fan. Thank you for holding <laughs> on for so long. No, it's just that I believe in Durban so much, yeah, man. man. Um, that's why I always make sure that I stick to Durban when it comes to the features. That's why even with Ben Thinking, um, I feature um, Bold and Black, and they're all about Durban. Uh, the second one is Ufunan. Mm. Uh, Ufunan, it had Cuesta, El Tiro, and WTF. Dope. So I'm all about pushing that Durban, man. I like that. Durban is, like, Durban has gigs every week and sometimes it's like you don't even know the DJs or the yes. artists and then a year later they blow up shout out to Palm Tree with this been thinking single how did it come about because for me it's a year it's like the turn up era and you're yes. coming out there telling these kids to, that you've been thinking so how does the track come about and how does it sound um, to those of you guys who don't know <laughs> well to those that actually don't know it's actually been uh, taking taking control over social media like I've seen social media crazy mm. with regards to the single but like it came about i spoke to golden black i heard their music so i was like ah these boys they're not even discovered because mm. you get a lot of cats like that man and that people should true. just keep pushing you know people just should just keep on believing keep pushing so not I hit everybody but especially guys in durban <laughs> and some in other places but some must just give up my age. i'm real like just go back to school and study and just go work in a call center <laughs> you know, sometimes you go into studio and you think that you've got one, mm. but as soon as you come out and people react to it otherwise. So I know so many times yeah. I've actually been in studio yeah. and I've seen you telling people that I, it's not the one, mm. you know. So you go into studio and then you just think, hey, I've got one. But this time around, I said, I've got one. You had I knew it. And the only person that I thought about that could do justice to this song was Maraza. No doubt. Though. After Golden Black, I was like, I need one more person. I need mm. that pull factor. It was like Maraza. So we, there are a lot of people that would actually be suitable, but like that flow, spinal flow. Are you, are, you, are you eclectic in your music or are you strictly hip hop? Because Durban dudes are normally eclectic. They got that kwaito in them. Sure. They got that boom in them. Sure. They got that uh, trap in them. They got yeah. that rap in them. Yes. You know, and they got that R&B in them too. <laughs> so when, uh, which, 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 which end of the spectrum do you fall or do you cover the whole kaleidoscope? I'm just trying to flex words on you because I've been reading. <laughs> All right, cool. But um, I actually started with house. I was a mm. house DJ um, from the age of... You have no choice in terms. Bana, <laughs> in order for you to get in, yeah. otherwise that door is closed. Yeah. So I started off as a house DJ, man. <laughs> I keeping it, I peep, I fully stop, I'm yeah. sure. So I was like, I, let me find myself now. And hip hop was the way to go, man. No doubt. Um, and I just carried on with that. I mean, like, I just tried to change the game when it comes to hip hop and when it comes to Durban. And everyone's just saying, ah, Durban, Durban DJs don't really make it. You get that. You do get that. You, Get get that. Actually, if I can think about there isn't a Durban DJ that has blown up yet. I yeah. think the rappers are going to do it and it'll definitely and they do it. it it'll, yeah, they, they're going to do it first and it, yes. it'll definitely fall on to the hands of a DJ. I think you, Wobbly, Mitch, mm -hmm. NAG are definitely going to get your chance. Yeah. Uh, not that it hasn't come to you guys now because <laughs> I've been to his house and I've been to his car. Yeah. What can we expect? from you, mm -hmm. album-wise. Okay. Is there going to be an album? And then, festive season. I mean, it's school 31 December, Saturdays. Mm -hmm. I was about to say 31 December. Okay. Um, festive season, I have, okay, 26 confirmed cases so far. So I think there's only a few more dates left. Nice. That's just for December. So album, no, I'm not going to drop an album 2017, but nice. I'm definitely going to do a project. I'm going to work on something. There's more singles that are actually going to be coming out. Man, it's time to put Durban hip-hop on the rise.